Oh my god. I just need to film a quick segment. What is happening over there? It is raining quite heavily outside and it is very... I was going to say it's very early in the morning but it's not. It's like... What time is it, honey? It's 10.30 right now. It's raining very heavily outside and there's something going on in the neighboring blocks and it's very noisy. Uh, but we are running on a few hours of sleep and we have to move today. So yes, this is the moving vlog. Are you excited? I'm very excited. You might not be able to hear it in my voice or see it on my face right now. But like... I hope you can hear me. The space is very messy right now. <laughs> we are trying to get as much things done as possible before the movers arrive. But, ta-da! I have a whole bag of Patreon mail that I haven't sent out yet. I just packed, in a hurry, I just packed all of my September goods, which was a really cute A5 print, two like Happy Mountain and Rainbow stickers. Mm, I like the vibes for that month. So, worked really hard, got all of this done in time. So all we have to do is go to the post office, send these out, eat breakfast, and the actual moving can begin. follow me on Instagram, you might realize that I've been kind of quiet and I want to show you why, what I've been dealing with and what I've been working with. So, for those of you that don't know, I moved, which is why the lighting is so bad. I'm in a new studio space and it's definitely a work in progress. So, the reason I haven't been posting as much or been creating is because I've been dealing with this, this hellhole of a mess. And I think I should have a house tour of the old place up uh, by the time this video comes up. But this is what I'm working with nowadays. Um, yeah, it's, it's not much. It's literally a corner of a giant dining table with all of my stuff. So you can tell that productivity um, isn't really a thing right now. But I'm going to get my desk in a few days, which is very exciting. Let's move away from the mountain of things and head to the kitchen. We've been making slow but steady progress, okay? I need to figure out the lighting situation because the wall is white, but on my camera it doesn't seem white. I just look washed out. Fantastic. This is where I'm going to be filming all the time, so it's news to me. Let me just give you a little nice pan of the entire studio so that you can kind of get the vibe of the place. So we're going to have to give it some time before it actually looks pretty. I talked about this with my patrons for a little bit. Uh, I posted some pictures like behind the scenes stuff of like the moving process and everything. And I talked a little bit about my sun and moon grills. Like they do be low-key kind of cute, like, but they're just not the vibe anymore. So I'm gonna have to remove them. Hopefully sooner than later. But that's still not a priority. The priority is getting a desk. I need to sit somewhere and work. Hey guys, I'm popping in to let you know that my setup is actually sponsored by Omnidesk. I know, I know, you might be wondering, what's up with this location? Where is this studio? Because it's different from the one that you're watching me move into right now. Well, it's a long story and there's a lot that has happened over the past couple of months. So I will be posting an update video after this upload, which will hopefully help you get caught up on everything. But now that I've been using this table for about four months, I'm more than capable of giving you a fair and very honest review on how this setup has made my business more efficient and how it has changed the way that I work. First things first, isn't it pretty? Oh my god, it's so pretty, right? So I have the Omnidesk Pro 2020 in white. Uh, the top and the frame are both in white because I thought it would suit my room better. And was I right? I think I'm right. 
I also have a cable management bar and a mounted power bar just because I thought it would be easy to just plug everything in one place and keep things neat and organized. I usually have a lot of things on my desk because that's my main working area so I don't want it to be crowded with lots of other stuff like cables like as much as possible I want to keep those hidden so that has really helped me out. I have this really amazing anti-fatigue mat which just allows me to stand up for a longer period of time because you know after working on your ass the entire day it's just nice to stand up sometimes. That mat actually just makes me feel a lot more comfortable on my feet. My feet don't ache as much as they used to. I also got this mega giant size which is just so so luxurious you know. They had the tiny one and like the giant one and I got the giant one and I'm like oh my wow. What's amazing is that I didn't even need to worry about setting it up. When I was moving in, there were just so many things to do and so many pieces of furniture that I had to fix. And Omnidesk just took care of that completely. The Omnidesk is really special because it has this. Wait, can you see it? can remember the settings and the height that you like. Let me show you what I've chosen and what I think is pretty useful. Number one for me is my standing height and that's when I used to just stand up and use my computer for everyday things. Number two is my standard sitting height and that's what I use majority of the time. Number three is my packing height. So when I'm packing orders or I'm organizing things and it's so good. Oh. And number four is my drawing height. It's just hard to bend over and like draw this way. So like I like to draw it this way. That's what number four is for. Omnidesk has also been so kind as to send another desk for my partner. See the aesthetic is completely different and that just shows you the wide range of the desk and the options that Omnidesk has. She also has the Omnidesk Pro 2020 but the frame is in black this time and the desk is part of their Wildwood collection and I think it's really pretty. At the point of time it didn't match my aesthetic but I kind of like her desk more than my desk now. So overall 10 out of 10 it has changed my life. My back is so much better and it's just like so efficient to work on. It's like I don't even need to think about you know being uncomfortable as I work because that is the last thing I want to be thinking of. So thank you so much Omnidesk for sponsoring my setup. I am totally enjoying it and if you guys are looking for something similar, something that will help you out, I highly recommend Omnidesk. Okay back to the video! Okay so that was a little life update slash work desk situation mini tour thing it just happened. Honestly, this is the first time in like three weeks or to be exact, about 21 days that I've actually put on some makeup and actually looked decent. And that's not okay because I'm not productive when I'm not on camera. So something's gotta give, something's gotta change. I think the hair is the reason. Like, like look at this, like, oh, I can't deal with it anymore. This, this is much better. Mm. I feel like a brand new person. I got my bangs cut. I was trying to grow it out, but it was not working. This length did not work with the no bangs look, so I just snip snipped it off. Also, there's a cheeky little bit of blue in there. I know, a weird choice. I wouldn't have picked blue, but my bleached hair came out much more orange than expected, so I, I went for it. It's like in a few different places. I haven't figured out where yet, but I'll get used to it. I think a fresh cut was, wow. There are children screaming in the playground. The thing is, if I don't keep this window open, there is absolutely no air circulation in here. So this room needs a lot of work. And now that I feel great in my new hairdo, we gotta get to work. Yeah.
Okay, okay. So, it's been a couple of weeks since we last talked and I'm not sure if I have footage of the room before it was painted but we did quite a lot. It was like an extreme week of just painting. We had to paint the ceiling and the thing is we didn't have like an extender pole up until like the second week so like we were climbing up ladders and like physically painting the ceiling which was not efficient at all but we did get it done and it looks so different it makes such a big difference i have no idea why the entire room was like a cream off whitish color because this room isn't very bright and like that yellowish tone just made everything look really old and dirty so like we had to paint everything white first and then i decided to go for a light gray kind of shimmery silver wall this kind of textured paint i guess is usually used to make like an accent wall i have two accent walls i guess the entire room is an accent <laughs> it's a feature wall but i'm liking the change i'm liking the change i feel very comfortable in warm colors and like white it's a very normal base that I would choose to go for if I'm decorating. So I've never decorated with a cooler wall slash grey accents. Never done it before. We shall see how it goes. And then you saw me fixing up a chair, which I am now sitting on. I think this is a new chair from IKEA, but like, as you can see, there are no armrests. It's completely sold out. They only have it in black and I don't want a black armrest on my beige chair. So I'm gonna have to wait for that. Meanwhile, I'll just live with an armrestless, armrestless chair. <laughs> and um, we struggled, but we managed to put up my shelf as well. This is so exciting for me because I've never had a proper like inventory workspace space. It's always just been like boxes piled up in the storeroom. Which brings me to my dilemma, which I'm gonna share with you. I need help shopping. <laughs> I am so bad at making decisions. I'm looking at these colorful crates and they come in like big sizes and small sizes. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put them up on the shelf and hopefully they can like organize my shit a little better. Like if I have lots of t-shirt inventory or tote bag inventory, I can just like dump it there because right now it's all open and I don't want it to look too messy so I'm thinking these crates could be really useful it's just that I'm spoiled for choice because there's so many cute color options like I can't pick I'm just like scrolling for days and like looking at my shelf and trying to envision what would be nice and I have no clue right now I'm just thinking of getting one of each because I'm so indecisive it, it could be cute I kind of like drew a mock-up on Procreate over here and that's like a carpet that I already bought for that part of the room. So I'm thinking that the colors could be cute if it matches with the carpet. But like, yeah, should I just go for it? I, by the time this video comes up, I would have already bought it. But like, I just need to share with you that I can't even decide when I'm shopping. All the colors are cute. What am I supposed to do? This is such a first world problem. All the colors are so cute. Yeah, I have a lot of shopping to do because this place is pretty bare bones. I'm gonna put up some art prints like by the side of my table, but I also got some prints from Society6 which I'm gonna put up. Here, here, maybe up there, and maybe the toilet door. See, I have stuff on the shelf right now and I have no idea how to organize it. My keychains just came in. I ordered a lot. Oh my god, you can, you can see me squatting in the reflection. I'm bending down for the camera instead of making the camera go up, okay? Uh, you can watch me squat here. But yeah, I'm working on my keychains in another studio vlog, which I'm filming at the same time as this moving vlog. So if you're interested in my work progress, you can watch that video instead. This is just room decor. I'm gonna go get some work done, but I'll see you when my shopping arrives. Put that sugar sweet, you got what I need Sipping on the potion, all that good emotion Just my kind of heat, keep it on repeat Just it by the potion, love it is the potion The French toast is so good, I had no idea you could make them with baguettes Wynne just found a new recipe and she tried it and 
It's seriously good. I think what makes a difference is the expensive berries that I never usually buy, but <laughs> today was special. I had to take a nice photo, so remember kids that social media is a lie. So I managed to take some really pretty pictures on all of these really pretty plates. I need to stop saying pretty. Mm, the pictures came out so good because I put the food on really nice plates. So I have a sweet discount code for you if you're looking to spice up your plate collection. <laughs> All of the pretty plates and like the pretty cups. Like I've always wanted one of these glass cups. Like, ooh, it's wavy. I just love wavy shapes, but I reached out to your Lagom for all these items so that I can show you how pretty they are and also get a discount code for you. So it's gonna be in the description box if you're looking to spice up your collection, if you wanna serve pretty ass food to your guests. But this pretty much wraps up this moving vlog. I initially planned for a lot more in this vlog. The plan has changed. Things have happened and I will be sharing more news with you soon. But I'm gonna have to stop the video here and prepare for other content that I'm making. But I will update you in time. You just gotta hang in there and like stay tuned. So I'll update everything on my Instagram. You should follow me there. Uh, give this video a like and comment something sweet in the comments below because I need some good jujus right now. It will put me in a good mood if you care. If you care, you can write something nice. If you don't have anything else to say, don't say please. You can subscribe if you haven't. If not, I will see you in the next video. I've been holding my fork and knife the entire time because I'm talking and not eating. But I will see you in the next video sometime soon. Thank you for watching. Oh, and shout out to my patrons for being the best. Mwah. Love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my brunch. You can't even see me eat. I thought you could see me Bye! Mmm, we need to bar. Bye!